So currently, a biosimilar product um, cannot be substituted at the pharmacy um, if it's just an approved biosimilar. Now, if a manufacturer pursues interchangeability, um, you can then take the product and a prescriber um, could write the prescription for the originator product, but if it's got interchangeability on the biosimilar side, um, the pharmacist could, in theory, switch the patient over and it not be a huge issue because you've received that approval from the FDA to do so. What states are looking for, though, is some more clarification around that because even the FDA is giving some guidance around what's interchangeable, but they're not really giving complete clear guidance. And they've even said, you know, the application that we want will be a little bit different for each product. And we recognize that this is a little bit of a fluid process. So that is something that, you know, has yet to be completely defined. So states are kind of doing their own thing. What they're mostly doing is setting um, regulation around if um, there is a, a pharmacist that takes a patient and puts them on an interchangeable biosimilar, they are required to notify the prescriber within five days that that switch occurred. Um, that's probably the biggest, most consistent thing we're seeing across states. Um, a couple states have just said that, yes, we will allow for the substitution um, if it's interchangeable. And then um, South Carolina has actually done something a little interesting where they just took their list that originally had things that could be substituted for with a generic, and they've now said, okay, biologics could have a substitute for something that's interchangeable. So just really defining the parameters around you know, what could happen at the point of sale for the patient when the pharmacist is filling the script, um, but they haven't really like changed or gone beyond anything um, in theory that could affect you know, the market otherwise.